The world that I grew up in is not the world that I'm living in. The way that a person is constantly making more money than their parents, having more things, or this illusion of a pinnacle, that doesn't exist. I came out here to take care of my father right before the pandemic. He ended up passing, and then the pandemic happened and I lost my job. Being homeless, my car has been broken into, my bikes have been stolen, all of these things I kind of try to keep on the outside of that. Being able to do art, being able to express myself, to be able to feel like that I'm not to be edited in any capacity is very important to me at this point. Do you have to make it round again? Nope, just go ahead, throw it down just like it is. That's okay. Nice. What Path with Art did for me was change I am. I am an artist. I am an advocate. I am happy. I am content. I am. I made a decision this past summer that I would live in my passions. And I had passion for photography from like day one. This outdoor exhibition is part of the FLAG program, the free library program. And I did some pinhole photography. So this is some of the work for everybody in Seattle to be able to share. I want people to look at the art, be provoked, have inspiration, have aspirations, and just see that you can do anything you want from nothing. Art is all in us, and how do you get it out for other people to see? What if there was no money in the world? What if there was justice? What if we were seen, heard, acknowledged, and lifted? What if we didn't have traumas, hurts, or even what ifs? What ifs? We are our what ifs. Before Path with Art, I didn't have a sense of who I was. I didn't have a way to defend myself. I didn't have a way to express myself. I didn't have a way to be myself. And now I am an artist. I am a photographer. I am a wheel thrower. I am an advocate. I am a friend. I am a community member. The list just keeps on getting longer. <laughs>